Good morning, Coyotes. I'm Ivy Villegas. And I'm Juan Vilpondo. On this episode, we introduce you to our new band director, get an inside look at a nail salon owned by a sophomore on campus, play a game of who's who and more. Don't go anywhere. You're watching the season premiere of The Rundown. Ava and Caleb took a walk over to the 600 building to meet the new band director. Let's take a look. We interviewed the new band director, Mr. Gibbons, on what his life is like in school and out of school. These were his responses. Mr. Gibbons talks about who he is and what he teaches at Combs. I teach music and band here at uh, CHS. I really love it. Mostly band, I get my hands into marching band, jazz band, and hopefully next year musical theater. Gibbons found his love for teaching music when he started giving private lessons once he was done with high school. I graduated in 2018. I was lucky enough to avoid the pandemic times in high school and got out right before everything uh, hit the fan, so to say. I started teaching also in around that 2018. I opened up a private studio and started teaching music, teaching trumpet mainly, but branching out into other instruments. I mostly started teaching high school about last year, about 2022-ish. His love for instruments started when he was in elementary school. I actually started playing instruments all the way back in fifth grade. I was lucky enough I started us in elementary school and I picked up, first I tried to pick up violin and my mom said no. So I picked up saxophone and she said no. She said, hey, we have this trumpet and I played trumpet ever since then. He grew up in a large household and owns many pets. My family consists of my mom, my dad, and I have three brothers and one adopted sister. I have at home three cats and a pug. Gibbons finds inspiration from one of his favorite local artists. For me, the number one musician probably has to go towards Paul Brewer. He's actually a local. He's a fantastic saxophone player and just a jazz idol to me. This is Calum and Ava signing, signing off for the rundown. Hey Juan, do you like watching game shows? I know I do. Connor and Kalia tested students to see if they could put a name to some famous faces on campus. Let's see how well they did. Hi Coyotes, my name's Kalia and today I'm here at A-Lunch to play a game of Who Knows Who. So the rules of the game are simple. I'm just going to show a contestant a picture of a student or staff that goes here and they have to guess who it is in under five seconds. Today I'm here with... Talon. AJ. Bryce. Kelsey. Isaiah. Sage. Jen. Romy. And today you're going to be guessing who this teacher is in under five seconds. Are you ready? Mm hmm. Okay, who's this? Um. Mm, time's up. Who's this? Mr. Lalaberte. Okay. Mr. Lalaberte. Okay. Mr. Lalaberte. Okay, no, that was too easy. That was too easy. I'm going to give you another <laughs> one. That was way too easy for you. Okay. What about her? Uh. That's the principal, but I don't know her name. Okay. I don't know. Shoot. Is that the principal? Yes, but what's her name? I don't know. Miss Loftus. That's Miss Loftus. The principal. What's her name? Tanya Loftus. Tanya? You're going to call it Tanya? You're not going to say Principal <laughs> Loftus? Uh, Miss Kelly. Miss no, Kelly? No, no. <laughs> All right, hold on. I'll give you one more. I'll give you one more chance to redeem yourself. I don't know. You don't? <laughs> no. <laughs> Never mind. And that is the game Who's Who. Thank you for everyone that has participated. And this is Connor Canas signing out for the rundown. Are you ready for fall break? Yeah, but I need to get my nails redone now that homecoming's over. Thanks for setting up our next segment. Caleb and Ian interviewed a sophomore on campus about her up and coming nail business. Typically, high schoolers have the reputation of being lazy and unmotivated, but not this student. Meet Victoria Esparza, a Combs High School sophomore who has been running her own nail business for three years. She specializes in acrylic nails, but can also do John requests. Victoria doesn't just paint nails, she creates works of art, like this Disney Halloween design, a Powerpuff Girl design, and a Spongebob design. Victoria got her start with the encouragement of her family. Probably my parents. They've always encouraged me to do what I want and they've always been supportive. 
Owning an L business and being in school is a challenge, but she finds a way to balance Usually it. Usually I give myself breaks, like during the week. Out of school days, I try taking two days off. The latest I'll do for appointments during the weekday would be seven, which would be an after hour. Juggling a personal life, school life, and a business can be a lot. She tries to make herself available as much as possible. It kind of depends on the month, um, because I do make my own availability. It, I go based off of like what I have planned. Wow, it seems like I'm going to have to get my nails done by Victoria. Anyways, this has been Ian and Caleb signing, signing off, off from, from the rundown. rundown. Hey Siri, remind me to book a nail appointment with Victoria for fall break. Athletic participation has been on the decline around the country in recent years. Lucas and I spoke with the head coaches of the baseball and football teams to get their thoughts on why and the pros and cons of running programs with just two levels. According to a survey conducted by the National Federation of High School Sports, athletic participation has been on the decline in recent years. Last year, the Combs baseball program had to cut their JV level, and this year the football program had to merge their JV and freshman teams into a Froshmore roster for the first time. We talked to the head coaches of both programs to try and get some insight on the cause of the decline in participation and how things can get turned around. I think uh, freshman and JV uh, teams are very important for any baseball program. Look at all the playing time the players are missing, not having a JV team. I think the, the key thing is getting the interest of the players. That's why I'm going down on a junior high team and trying to recruit the kids from junior high to come here and getting the numbers up as much as possible. That way you can build a freshman team, a JV team, and get as much playing time as possible. You have a limited amount of players, so that way your depth chart is minimal. Playing time is minimal for the kids who aren't starting for varsity. There's a lot of lack of benefits from not having a JV or freshman team. Just the motivation to come out and do, do athletics is dwindling throughout all sports, not just baseball, but football and, and softball and everything else. Here's Coach Hoagland and his different outlook on the situation. Uh, we, we didn't know about a year ago that, that we might have to be looking at this, and we decided this is the best direction for our program, just like a lot of other 4A schools around the valley um, are doing, because we're not the only one do, we're not the only one doing it. You know, uh, we don't really feel like it's a detriment because if we were the only team doing it. That might be a problem, but unfortunately, there's playoff teams in 4A doing doing what we're doing right now. I think I think having two levels that are quality and really strong is better than having three levels with you know two of them being really weak and one being strong. The biggest disadvantage is you have um, freshmen who are just fresh out of eighth grade. Some of them are 14 years old. Um, if we're playing a JV schedule, those 14 year olds have to go against 17 year olds or, or 16 year olds. And that can be really tough. You know, you got to think about three years of development, getting in the weight room, uh, being in playbooks, stuff like that. And that can really hurt a freshman's development, what they're doing versus playing a fresh off schedule where you can ensure that only freshmen and sophomores are playing. They're only a year older than your youngest guy and I think that can really help out the confidence for, for our freshmen and sophomores. This is Juan and Lucas signing off. That's going to wrap up today's episode. The football team is on the road tonight against the Mesquite Wildcats. Take the quick drive up to Gilbert and support your coyotes. Have a great break!